Hi, it's Investivas Kiana with News BTC and here's your cryptocurrency update. The crypto market saw a sharp drop on Sunday, continued on Monday, and EOS led the top 10 drops with a 22% decline. That brought the value of EOS down to the lows of end of May, almost reaching the 78% Fibonacci tracement level and closer to our buy limit orders. While most of the bearish sentiment was due to the general market movement, EOS may have dropped more because of some negative news about the cryptocurrency and its parent company, Block One. The negative coverage continued throughout Block One's release of the first version of their open source EOS IO blockchain software on June 2nd. This release itself was pushed back multiple times due to security vul vulnerabilities. For example, a Chinese security firm found a bug in the EOS code that could theoretically have been used to create tokens out of thin air. EOS was able to fix the bugs. Now, to further turn the bad press into positive though, Block One invited people to hunt for undiscovered bugs in return for monetary rewards. However, EOS faced another bad press as there was a widely publicized hack in which scam emails were sent from the account of Block One. Millions of dollars worth of EOS and Ethereum tokens were reportedly stolen, although no accurate simulation of the losses is available. Last but not least of the negative press is the voting issue. The EOS community is preparing to vote for the inaugural 21 block producers that will initially run the network. But there is a mountain confusion and concern about how this is being handled. For this, many are questioning the democracy of the blockchain's constitution. With all this, the question is whether we should hold on to our EOS tokens or get rid of them. In my humble opinion, any PR, whether good or bad, can eventually turn into positive as it gives the topic more exposure to the public. With that, while we could certainly see further drops in EOS value, we are sticking to our strategy of buying more once it reaches our targeted support levels. Thanks for watching responsibly and I'll see you with more updates tomorrow.